since I kind of want to hurry up and get to Sydney growing up and GTFOing. So <laughs> now I got an I incoming baby come coming up with Frankie and Lizzie. And yeah, exposing myself to people sneezing on me. Oh. Dang it. I should say good, really. <laughs> that was weird. It didn't really do it for me. Well, I guess it did for me. Blessing I'm in disguise, right? By the way, your hair's less ugly than usual. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway. Now we need to get the flipping donation. I'm surprised we haven't done that already. Um, I, I wonder if it'll ever be more than 171 on the dot, but I guess not. Welcome. Lion mask thing. I probably used a very good portion of the donations I just got. Welcome. New Bolero dresser. And I wouldn't be surprised if I used up all the donations now. Have a nice day. There we go. Usually when you back out entirely, then they'll call you. Or at least that's a fast way to get them to call. It's time for her to leave the nest. <laughs> Should we send her off to travel the world? Or have her move into her own apartment? Oh, we already got Jojo. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> I can't wait to see the world. Looks just like her mom. Uh, no. Should she say anything special when she meets new people? I'm super unoriginal right now, and I just kind of want to get this part over with. Destination gonna be Australia. <laughs> Either way, that would be interesting. I wonder how many people who are born after a city or a country actually end up visiting that city or country. That that is, if they weren't already born where their namesake is from or whatever. <laughs> like, I wonder how many people named Sydney may have actually gone to Sydney, Australia, even if it was spelled differently than how Sydney, Australia is spelled. Like, I wonder how many people actually end up going to the place where they're named, where they're named after, or, or how many people, um, will end up taking their namesake that seriously, or whatever. Like, if your name is something really common, like John, probably not, but, uh... But I, I don't know, like, uh, named after a place, so that's an interesting combo, a bonnet with a... with a ladybug costume. <laughs> and I couldn't tell what Flair was wearing in that last slide. Not the muscle costume that Flair was wearing. Maybe, I don't know. 
I was about to say it looked kind of weird at the legs, but I don't know. And the flashback goes on forever, even though, even though I like to sit, actually sit through them. Cause, you know. <laughs> I really like the pink ladybug costume, even though I doubt ladybugs actually come in that color. They could have at least spiced up or randomized the outfit, the Halloween costume or whatever they would have been wearing in that slide. I don't know, it just seems a bit lazy that, or a bit coincidental that all the kids would like a big bird at some point in their lives. And they don't like other cool things like Pixar cars or pirates or whatever. But either way. Well, either way, she's grown up, and she looks almost exactly like her mom, just with her dad's nose, I think. Maybe. The noise when they jump up and down. Aren't they all at some point or another? <laughs> Probably because they're all exposed to the exact same upbringing, but whatever. Anywho, now Sydney has GTFO'd and reloaded. So anyway. <laughs> 